everybody. This is uh, Randall Bowman with the National Barbecue Cup in Cumming, Georgia. Uh, our event is uh, the third weekend of November every year. Um, we generally draw about 150 total teams. It's about 100 professionals and 50 backyard. Uh, we're late in the year, so we take advantage of kind of the point races coming to a head. Uh, we usually get some of the top names, the Rod Grays and the Johnny Triggs and and uh, you know, Warren County Pork Choppers is here this year. We've had Three Eyes and Bubba Q and pretty much all the big guys are, are here at one time or another. Uh, we also have about 50 backyard teams and uh, we try to really nurture the backyard teams. I truly believe in bringing the next crop of, of pros around. Um, I, I came up with this concept because I live here in Cumming, Georgia where the event is and uh, we had this incredible facility here with the City of Cumming Fairgrounds that had hard infrastructure of uh, electri electrical lines in the ground and power just everywhere. I've got about 400 full hookups of power for teams uh, at some point. Um, we've got water in the ground. We've got a campground on the back that has 96 full power hookups that have water as well as sewer. Um, we've got a shower house and just anything you could imagine. There's an 8,000 square feet arena. Uh, it is a 72 acre complex total um, so anyway, in, here in my hometown, I've always thought, God, this would just be a great place for what we as barbecue competitors do. And I began working on it about five years ago, and it took me a couple of years to get it put together. Uh, once we kind of started spreading the word and talking to uh, you know, teams and our friends and judges and reps and everybody else, we, we had assembled a team of master judges that helped volunteer. And, we picked our rep teams, which is uh, Ernie and Linda Poland and Philip and Kathy Brazier, uh, and we added Doug and Sue Reed our second year when our when our backyard grew a little bit bigger and we needed more reps. Um, we started soliciting the community and, and people related with the industry for some partnership dollars to help get the event going. Um, and we ended up being able to start a contest that was uh, able to offer a $25,000 total prize purse, which on top of points races and prize purse, uh, it brought a lot of folks in uh, to here. And it's, it's been a, a huge impact on my community. Um, we actually formed an actual 501c3 uh, corporation just for the event. Uh, so we were able to give back to local children's charities with all the net proceeds. Um, we have live entertainment, kid zones, arts and crafts vendors, product demonstrations, uh, a pretty big raffle giveaway with some some smokers and generators and fire pits and all kinds of things. Uh, you know, we've had some big bands in the past and, and we kind of waver back and forth between regional bands and national bands. And um, we're just trying to do what we can to help our community and, and build barbecue as a, as a better and as a whole. And uh, we hope to see you guys in the future uh, here at the National Barbecue Cup. And if I don't see you here, say hello to me somewhere out there on the barbecue trail because I'm myself out 20 to 25 weekends a year so thank you guys for everything and and, and we love y'all well, i think as far as my favorite number two would be the, the favorite best taste uh best texture and uh to my palate i enjoyed it the most probably my least favorite would have been number one uh and number three number one was uh in my opinion too way too salty and number three had it looked like uh, the cook may have put too much sauce to try to hide some other deficiencies possibly in, in the chicken, but the sauce ended up being so thick that it was almost hard to break, uh, break through it. So uh, I would say by far number two was a standout on my plate. Two was the favorite. Um, the appearance looked good. The taste was great. The skins came off good. Um, least favorite was probably number three. Least favorite was because the it was over sauced in my opinion, had a little uh, grittier, the, 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 like the whatever powder they used in the seasoning didn't, didn't blend as well as it should. And it probably wasn't cooked quite as tender as the rest of them, but still a good turn in sample. Yeah, I, well, I can do that, that doesn't matter, thanks. Here, bro. Right. Um, Favorite was number five. It had very good flavor, but it was, uh, I had to score it down because it was very, very dry and uh, overcooked. Uh, and then number one had some, number one had some very good flavor, but too much salt, too much heat, although the texture was, I thought, right on the money. Uh, 
I like number two. It had some really good flavor. That was probably my favorite. Uh, my least favorite was number three. Okay. Uh, all the ribs were uh, fairly decent. Um, number one, uh, it uh, didn't have the greatest appearance in the box, but uh, it was uh, fairly tasty and uh, uh, had pretty good uh, tenderness. Um, if I remember correctly, the sauce kind of overpowered the flavor of the meat just a little bit on number one. Uh, number two, uh, once again, it, it didn't look that great in the box. It looked a little dry, and it actually was a little dry, uh, but uh, pretty good flavor. And uh, number three uh, looked good in the box, uh, and it uh, the taste on the number three was kind of fruity. It was a little different. Uh, but uh, had had good uh, tenderness. Number four was a little strange. Um, it uh, looked pretty good in the box, but uh, it seemed to be a little bit overcooked, a little mushy, um, a little fall off the bone, but uh, had uh, fairly decent flavor. And number five uh, looked good in the box, but it was uh, definitely undercooked. It was uh, tough and chewy. That's it. There. I'm going to be in agreement with most of what he said. My number four was definitely overcooked, as you can tell. It's uh, totally came off the bone. And number five was tough. Okay. Well, unlike my fellow judges, I thought number four was very tender. Uh, you know, maybe it was overcooked. Uh, number five was definitely uh, tough. Uh, I thought uh, number one had sort of a strange taste to it that didn't quite uh, wasn't to my liking, but overall some good some good quality ribs. I found numbers one and two to be fairly similar, uh, good tasting, but nothing particularly notable or unusual or exceptional of the flavor. Uh, number one, I thought was prepared just a little bit better in terms of tenderness than number two, but those are both nice ribs. Number three turned out to be my favorite. Quite simply, I thought it was a conventional, traditional rib, just exceptionally prepared, and it had the best flavor and tenderness <coughs> that I experienced. Uh, number four, uh, my serving was definitely overcooked. It was an unusually large rib with a lot of meat on it, and I think the cooks might have known it and had to overcook it, and it reflected in a little bit more smoky flavor than I would have preferred and, and overcooked as well. Number five was nice, and it uh, reminded me of the first two. Um, nice flavor, nothing too distinctive, and just a little bit undercooked, but I enjoyed number three the best. I agree with the other judges. I uh, I believe that number three was the most different out of what I've tasted in previous competitions. It had a very distinct flavor, but uh, tenderness was great. And um, just as my other judges said, number four was clearly overcooked, mushy, and um, I'd have to say number three was my favorite. Again, um, echoing what <coughs> my pro uh, fellow judges here at this table have said, uh, number four definitely Mushy meat uh, had a pretty good flavor, but it was uh, definitely overcooked. Number five, a bit tough, um, but had a to me had a good smoke flavor. Three was uh, I thought stood out as the best rib uh, combination of smoke flavor, pork flavor, and the sauce was definitely good, and the tenderness was uh, right on the way we want to see it in the uh, competition circuit. So uh, one and two, uh, both good but nothing exceptional on either one of those either. Um, just a pretty standard uh, competition rib, which is, is a good thing, but a little bit, uh, a little bit standard for my taste. Thanks. You're waiting on me, I take it. All right, I found uh, number two to be my, the best to me. It had the best flavors, and uh, uh, it was, the tenderness was uh, more correct. And then I found... Uh, number four to be my uh, my second favorite on on the choices of five here okay my favorite was number two found the tenderness to be very good and the flavor to be excellent uh, my least favorite was number four I didn't my just didn't have a good texture or or flavor for me Oh, 
Um, I agree that number two was my favorite. It was very moist and juicy and tender. Although I did think number three was full of flavor. Number four and number five, four was overdone. The meat was mushy. And number five had a strong, lighter fluid taste to me. I did not enjoy it. Hey, my favorite was uh, number two also. It was, uh, had a great flavor to it. It was, uh, the texture was great. I also thought the texture of number three was great. I didn't particularly care for number five. It was a little tough to chew. Uh, number two, I agree, it was the best in both tenderness and taste, nice smoky taste, and the barbecue sauce was not overwhelming. Number five was my least favorite, although it was nice and tender. It was uh, a very off-putting taste to the product. I also liked number two the best. It had a uh, great taste and um, excellent tenderness. I found number four to be overdone and bland. Um, and I also found number five to have an off-putting flavor as well. You know what? Um, all five I thought was excellent brisket. Uh, I gave them all good scores. I didn't have a clear favorite, to be honest with you. They were all very good. Out of these five, uh, number one and two were the ones that I gave the highest score to. The third one was good. Um, the fourth one had a little bit of a burnt taste to it, so I graded down on the taste on that one. And the fifth entry, um, I found the brisket to be a little bit dry, and so I graded down on tenderness a little bit on the number five. I would agree, and I thought all five had really good flavors, good taste, good tenderness. Um, number four had a little bit too much fat in the meat, should have been trimmed, I thought, a little better. The taste, the seasoning, the tenderness on number two, I thought was outstanding. Maybe the best brisket I've had all year. Number five was an outstanding brisket. They had no problems with the taste, tenderness, the uh, complexity of flavors. Uh, but all across the board, all, all were very good, well-seasoned, well-cooked. All judges did a really good job. All of them had an excellent appearance. Uh, number one, I thought, was slightly dry. Number two was an excellent brisket. It had a good flavor, the right kind of seasoning, was not dry, was not tough. Number three was a little tough when I pulled it apart. Uh, the burnt end had quite a bit of fat in it. When I bit into it, I ended up with a mouthful of fat. Number four was, it was okay, uh, but and number two, like I said, was excellent, but so was number five. The seasoning was just right, and the meat was very, very good. All, all of them were, were pretty, pretty even. They're at number two, and I'd say number four and five were the, the, better, the best of, the, of, the, of them. Um, they, all, they all tasted pretty good. This was overall a, a, a very good uh, round of brisket. Uh, number two was head and shoulders flavor-wise ahead of the others. Uh, number uh, three was a bit tough. Uh, all of them had, had excellent appearance, but clearly uh, no problem for me in judging number two the best because of flavor.